hi guys welcome back to the channel and to this little video all about our faded exiles server for conan exiles it is a multiplayer modded server we are running several different mods but the main gonna go a bit very very quickly for you iwa or endgame extended weapon arsenal but it's not just about weapons this mod as you can see is very very popular i've never played with this mod before so i'm very very much looking forward to seeing what it's all about it brings a lot to the end game because as we know with current exiles level 60 you're just about done you can go and do a few more you know dungeons or whatever but that's kind of basically it but with iwa they, you're going to get a lot more content you can find it on steam you can read all about it they do have a discord as well with lots and lots of information here is the list, the full list of mods that we are running. We go, of course, we're using Pippi, Mod Control Panel. We have Better Thralls, Fashioner, Paragon Leveling, which allows us to level up to level 300. And this works very well in conjunction with Ewa. We have Master of Puppets, Less Building Placement, Pickup Plus. Ravencrest Couriers is something I've been looking at for a long time and I find very interesting. It allows you to write notes, um, send letters to other players. I just thought it was a unique little thing that we could try for multiplayer. We are using Glass Constructions and more Beyond Decor, Beyond Decor Rustic Edition and Beyond Stations. And for the first time ever, guys, because everybody keeps requesting it, I am going to start using Hozav's UI mod. And of course we have unlock plus as well so those are all the mods that we are running now for those of you who know all about ewa and paragons leveling and the mods that i've just mentioned you can use the timestamps in the video to get to parts that you're more interested in than this what i'm talking about now is just for players who don't know anything about these mods and how they work ewa comes with an interactive map which i have linked in the discord under the server section and as you can see here there's lots of different things added Got Moravian Camps, level 200 plus. Gelos Hard Challenges, Bounty Boards. Perilous Valley Entrance, level 60 to 300. So there's all sorts of different bosses and things in there. We have up here, we have Small Council Camps, level 200 plus. And these outposts here, you can go in and um, battle and take over. Bounty Boards, we've got all sorts of stuff, guys. The summoning altars most of the stuff you'll see here is for level 60 and above so it's adding tons and tons of content that we can do for end game i have also linked this spreadsheet guide um, in the discord section and it's huge it'll tell you how to get started table of contents about ewa for your information beats things to note there's all sorts of stuff and things in there this is the first time that i'm using these mods so the things that i've linked in there are for you and for me as well okie dokies i'm just quickly showing you one of the defari outposts now when you get near uh, an outpost it will enable pvp so that enables you to battle for these outposts and as you can see you've got the cannibal elite archers elite fighters and over here you have your high priest <laughs> okie dokie as you can see that it says nine stacks 45 percent bonus if we look here on our tab down here under stacks your courage is lost when you're killed by an npc however you do gain stacks when you kill which gives you bonuses and the ewa features over here there's lots of different things ascended augmented gems contracts covenants quests traits and trinkets all sorts of different things there so we have now defeated this Afari post. Press E to conquer. Outpost conquered. And now on the map, we should see. Defari outpost owned by Fadey Fade. There we go, you see it. So that's how that works. 
and then of course another player on the server can come on in and take that off me <laughs> obviously i was in cheat mode uh cheat admin mode when i did that it was just to give you an example on how to use the outposts now in a couple of places on the map you will see bounty boards is one over here in Sepamaru. and there's another one over there just outside of asgarth and they look a little bit like this and this is where you can pick up your bounties now it says here we have to learn bounties to use this so that will be under your trip not your attributes your knowledge section it's under the survival tab exiled businesses you got master explorer and bounties again i'm doing a cheat at the moment guys just to show you things and greater bounties we can unlock that as well so now when we go to the board you can see there's all sorts of things but just imagine for a moment we have killed the croc and we have got the giant crocodile head we'll come over to the bounty board we can put that in there and exchange it for the giant crocodile head there and it will give us some gold and a lesser bounty reward okay for the lesser bounty reward more information this item is missing a long description <laughs> okay very rough use and we got uh, a gold bar a fragment of power and some supply materials so that's how the bounties work guys okie dokie we are just about here on the map just north there and here is where we're going to find the entrance to lots of cool stuff and things this is where you come when you've hit your level 60 perilous valley entrance okie dokie as you can see there's lots of different things about there's books recipes what may i assist you with today oh we have voice actors as well guys i am just a collector of sorts while not exiled like you, I travel across the lands trading with the wealthy and the not so wealthy, giving everyone the opportunity to become as powerful and rich as the most mighty kings, provided they are resourceful enough, of course. Okay. I am not actually always around. You will see me around every Saturday and Sunday, though. I have lots of travel to do, but this seems like the prime spot for collecting resources from exiles. Yep. We Take have care, traders. Exile. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm not used to voice acting. Um, yeah, we have traders, guys. And like the guy said, they appear every Saturday and Sunday in certain areas on the map. And just over here, we should have a quest giver. Let's get some more recipe books lying around. Need anything? Not many people really know much about this place. All I know is it's a magical place. And if left too long alone in the dark, people become decayed and aggressive. Okay, okay. See you I'm, around. See you around, sir. I'm not going to click on every single thing and show you every single thing, guys. It's up to you to jump on the server and find these wonderful things out for yourself. But yeah, this is where you get your quests and recipes and all sorts of stuff. And of course, this is also a dungeon, so you've got to be very careful where you go. He's a fighter. I think these areas are fine as far as I know, but there is somewhere as soon as you go through. I think it's here. As soon as you go through these gates here, this is where the dungeon starts. Yep, there we go. Oh, they've got red eyes. Oh my goodness. But okay, when you've killed them, they turn into these weird things. And if you loot them, you're getting things like handled Ymir totem. I don't know what you do with those guys. I have no clue. 
But there's like chests are, are hidden around in places. Let's go and have a further look in. Just a little, little, little sneaky peeky. Oh, what is that? That's like a rock. A rock formation. Look at the XP you get from this stuff, guys. Oh, wow. Well, we have a big scourgy bone dragon. <laughs> I'm out of here. But it looks like there's lots and lots to do in this area. It did say that it's level 60 to 300. I'm suspecting that that dragon there is not level 61. <laughs> Okay, so I got rid of that character completely as it was just used for cheaty purposes and to show you stuff and things. Now, when you create your character on the server, guys, have a look up in the top here under racial bonuses. And as you can see, you're going to get different bonuses for whatever race you choose. Um, I like to be like um, agility based. So I'm going to change from my normal race and use the Morium. So I can get 2 plus grit to 1 agility and like a ranger trait. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, where is it? Zamorian. There we go. Beard E is going different. And for religion this time, I'm not going to bother. I'll learn everything uh, in game. Now, before we go any further, guys, what I highly suggest is clicking on to there and Master of Puppets. As we are going to be leveling up to 300, our brawls are going to stay at level 20. So what we need to do is get our attribute points up. Now I'm going to do attribute points per level. I'm going to do 6. And per points, I'm going to do 3. And I'm going to make sure this is ticked. Make settings enabled by default on new followers. This should help us give a little bit more extra to our thralls. We'll make sure that's saved. And now I'm going to play the game as normal. So, let's go. Oh, this is so exciting. Now, the other thing I wanted to say about this is because the mods really don't kick in properly until you're level 60. So what I'll probably be doing is a lot, a lot of grinding off camera. And I'll keep doing like little update, vid update videos telling you and showing you how I've got on and whereabouts we are and then once we get to that level 60 and then there'll be a lot more like content showing you doing showing what exactly what i'm doing etc i'm having a really bad day struggling with the speech as per usual so sorry about the mumblings and grumblings i'm doing my best <laughs> so as you can see from choosing the race i already have one in agility and two integrate um so i'm just going to put some into expertise so i can carry a little bit more i've started making my tools i have just learned how to make daggers hopefully <laughs> uh where are they oh i need some more stone i can make a bow get some more plant fiber the usual things as we're setting off I will be making um, a base down by New River just to get started with and then we shall hopefully move up into the north. And that's when all the fun's going to start. I'm actually very excited for this. I'm very excited to actually get something done after level 60 because it kind of feels like a bit of a letdown when you get to level 60 and there's not a lot to do. Shut up, beak face. Not beak face. Batty first. There we go. Gods cursed this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I've put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that liked fire. Or the bite of the axe. Right, let's get 
organise a little bit. Uh, how many of those can I make? Two? Is that all? Oh crap. Better get some more stones. Oh yeah, that thing you saw down here was the packages, the claim packages. When you have taken over an outpost, you get sent packages of stuff. Uh, so obviously the more outposts that you've taken over, the more packages you're going to get. So that's what that's for. I need to drink. I'm not used to this um, UI at all, guys. There we go. <laughs> We'll get there. We'll get there. Now, as usual, we are running the Pippi mod. So if there's anything anybody wants adding, like a currency system, you want some merchants adding, anything like that, just let me know in Discord under the server section and I'll see what I can do. Also, while you're in there, guys, and before you actually play on the server, please have a look at the rules um, because we've got quite a few mod big mods on here. We need to be very careful about how big we make our bases and how many thralls we actually have. The general rule is you don't really need any more than eight thralls. We are running better thralls, so you can take four thralls with you. And if you have those four, and like maybe four in reserve, that's really all you need. Also, we are running beyond stations, so you can actually choose the stations that hide the thrall, uh, which will help a lot with memory cpu and of course a little bit of server lag so thank you very much for doing that very much appreciated okie dokie let me introduce you to the team now i'm gonna have eight rolls and these are my main team uh we're gonna have fear and we've got yeti and now we have the twins quirky and edge of silence and these are all my channel members guys but yeti is my moderator so he's always going to be with us if you would like to be a thrall then become a channel member or indeed a nitro booster of discord and then you can be one of my thralls too and come on adventures in conan with me now what i've decided to do is fear and yeti are both obviously berserkers so I've given one a two-handed sword and one a two-handed maul. Quirky, as we know from Pirates of Zipta, loves her spear. And just for now, Edge can or Silence can come at the back with me with um, daggers and a bow just for now. Okay, so we are currently just around here on the map, just near the Shattered Bridge. I'm aiming to get a little base around here next to the cave with the sulfur like i normally do uh so we're going to head off that way just to let you know even though i did change characters i still have this defari outpost sorry about that and um, what that does now like i said before it does give you the packages so what i'm going to do is i'm going to claim the packages see what we get just to show you and we got hide human flesh spoils of conquest not quite sure what that is but what i'm just going to do for now guys is just get rid of it uh, until i work out how to <laughs> how to take myself off that <laughs> right, oh we've got meats look uh unblemished human meat so that's the kind of thing that you're going to get uh with the caravans again i'm not quite sure what that's all about so we're just going to get rid of it for now so okay let's go we need to get some healing and some food for the guys i am still trying to very much get used to uh this new hud ui you will never return to your dead. oh look follow a damaged kappa um i might have to squiggle around with that guys because i don't think i want that <laughs> flashing all over my screen i know some people like to see damage etc um i don't not my thing at all but i'll be trying to take that off as soon as i can right let's have a look see someone's coming yes we're coming ah! Ah! i didn't see him sneak up on me oh no get out of the way fairy <laughs> follower damage mm, yeah i'm not a big fan of that guys get away it's distracting me from actually seeing what's going on on the screen don't like it. 
I'm going to give you shit my own bloody thralls now. No, that's going to come off. I don't like that at all. We need healing. Oh. What's that over there? What's going on? We don't know. What is that? Am I spotting things to do with a mod already? What's there? A blooming mystical mushroom? What? This mushroom is blooming. Once it has bloomed fully, it will become a mystical mushroom. No bloody idea what that is. But guys, we don't normally have shipwrecks and stuff on New River. Let's go investigate. Do I need to be here right now? What the hell? Are these going to kill me? Oh, they don't look good at all. Are they really tough? Oh, I've just got my thralls and stuff sorted out. If these things kill me, I don't know what I'm going to do. They shouldn't. There's another mushroom there, look. Hello? Hi? Uh-oh. Yep, they're bad. Hopefully they're going to go down easy. Oh, crap, they're not. Uh, run? <laughs> no! Undead pirates, guys. Shit! Flee! So even on Noob River... We've got to be bloody careful. Are you okay, guys? Are you all here? No, he's still coming. Oh my goodness, but there's another mushroom there. Has he gone now? Has he gone back? Okay. Wow, I wasn't expecting things on New River to be uh, that tough. We need to get leveled up, guys. We need to get leveled up. Okay, while I'm about here, I'm just going to nip up here to get the law and uh, read the book. Uh, but yeah, there's all sorts of stuff and things down there. I wasn't expecting New River to be like that. That's amazing. Love it. Right, let's grab this lot and then we'll follow those ghosties down the bottom there. Slave, Warmaker Clael has ordered the sealing of the borders, including the destruction of the bridge. This is to discourage our treacherous kin from entering our lands. For hundreds of years, we have patiently welcomed your people into our lands, and our kindness was repaid with war. No more, bonded one. You will break the bridge, and as you do, Think about the consequences of betrayal. Think about what your people have done to you. Wow. Meanie. <laughs> okay, let's gently slide down here. I need to get some aloe. And I'll tell you what else I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bedroll. Turn no, up components. Operation items. A Zingarian bedroll. Not sure what these mushrooms are going to do, guys. Oh, there's another one, look. Blooming mystical mushroom. Now, I do know there's magic in this mod. There's some more pirates, look. Oh, no. They're all along New River. I hope they're not going to be where I want to build my base. That would be disastrous. You guys still with me? You all okay? <laughs> Nobody here. The city box. Oh, there's some healing. Survival kit. I'm going to take that very weak potion. Oh, there's another mushroom. I don't know if I should be gathering these yet or not, but I'm going <laughs> to. Okay. There is a one school over here. Hopefully she might drop a bit of armor. I'm 
and some more mushrooms. Okay, let's take it down, guys, quickly. And we'll farm her for some bits of armor. My claws are sharp, Puff. Are yours? Uh, yeah, definitely need to get that crap off the screen. But we've got a heavy tacit. And give that to one of the boys. And we'll continue our way down. Nice. We're just about where I want to build the base. And there's no sign of those weird pirate things, which is good. So let me just uh, uh, chop up these. I'm trying my best not to make every Conan series the same. But, you know, with the map being static, you tend to build stuff and go places the same anyway. If that makes sense. I'll try and build my base uh, a little bit different in each one. Then we're not looking too much the same. Oh, boys. Now, these mushrooms that I've been picking actually don't last very long. They've got a timer on them. It expires in two minutes, so I don't know what to do. I'm sure it's something we shall learn together, nonetheless. So I'm not going to pick up any more for now because they are all over the place, which is good. So the reason I build here to start with is there's a cave up there that has sulfur in it, and uh, the spiders up there for silk, and ichor, and there's lots and lots of nice bushes for aloe vera. So, as me and the guys get settled in as the sun sets on our first day in the exiled lands, I'm going to leave you with this. I hope you found the beginning of the video informative. And don't forget, if you want to join the server, you need to be joining Discord first. And then, if you're not already whitelisted, you need to give me a DM in Discord to become a whitelisted. I'll be playing a lot of this off camera until I reach level 60, and then you'll be seeing a lot more of it once I reach level 60 but I will keep updating with little update videos here and there ever so much for watching guys now you take care and we'll see you soon